नमो साकिया मुनि बुरा Dear venerable Sangha, Buddhist ladies and gentlemen, you are invited to join us in this weekly Buddhist news reel on Fasu online channel. Hereafter, six major headlines of Buddhist activities of the week. Vietnam Buddhist Sangha supports entire country joins hands for the poor program. Open cast statue of Buddha placed in Vietnam Buddhist University. King Yang inauguration of patriarch monk Minh Dang Quan's enlightenment relic. Education section of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha reviews Buddhist activities in tenure eight. Nimbin invocation ritual for peace held at Biden Pagoda. Social security related activities in Buddhist community support. The following are the news in details. On the afternoon of October 17, 2022, at the Vietnam-Russia Friendship Labor Culture Palace, Hanoi, the Central Committee of the Vietnam Fatherland Front cooperated with the government to organize the reception of donations for the poor fund and social welfare programs in 2022 with the response of various levels. This is an event of profound humanitarian significance to promote the tradition of solidarity, the spirit of mutual love, and the care to help the poor rise out of the poverty sustainably. During the ceremony, Most Venerable Thich Quang Tung, head of the social charity section of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, donated 200 billion Vietnam dong to join hands with the society in poverty alleviation. On this occasion, the representatives of the Provincial Buddhist Parochial Board from a number of provinces and cities, as well as individuals of reverent dignities, enthusiastically responded with an amount of up to tens of billion Vietnam dong. Over the years, the program and Thai country John's hand for the poor in particular, and the advocacy work to help the poor have received the support, attention, and close coordination of the government the Prime Minister, leaders, and has of relevant ministries. On the morning of October 16, 2022, the Vietnam Buddhist University in Ban Chan District, Ho Chi Minh City, held the ceremony to honor the placing of Buddha Sakyamuni statue by the Lotus Lake campus of the university. Presiding over the ceremony to place the statute is the, the elder most venerable Thich Chi Quang, acting Dharma Master of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, the rector of the university and the venerables of the university operation council, and monks and nuns of the university. The ceremony was also honored to welcome Mr. Trung Hoa Bình, former standing deputy prime minister, Mr. Vũ Chiến Thắng, Deputy Minister of Home Affairs, Mr. Vũ Hoài Bắc, Head of the Government Committee for Religious Affairs, and the Delegation of the Ministry of Home Affairs and the Government Committee for Religious Affairs. The incense offering and praying ceremony was started to honor placing the original Buddha statue of Sakyamuni. The elder venerable rector waved a willow branch to place a statue in the lotus pond in the campus of the university, and the masses single-mindedly recited great compassion and ten mantras to pray for peace and prosperity of the country. It is known that the statue of Buddha Sakyamuni was donated in worship by Mr. Chung Hoa Bình, former standing deputy prime minister of the government. The statue is made of monolithic rock, 6 meters in height, 10 tons in weight, sculpted by artisan in Thanh Hoa. Small landscape items at the lotus pond around the Buddha statue will also be built so that this place will become a cultural and spiritual location to adorn the university in the future. Converging enough favorable regeneration and being allowed by local authorities 
with the companionship of Buddhists near and far after two years of construction of the Enlightenment relic of Patriarch Monk Mendang Wang. On the morning of October 20th, 2022, the mendicant orders ce celebrated the inauguration of the relic in Hatian City, Yingyang Province. The Enlightenment relic of Patriarch Monk Mendang Guang is located at Mui Nai, where the Patriarch Monk founded the Zen mendicant sect to meditate and realize the law of Boat of Eightfold Path more than 70 years ago. Opening the celebration, Most Venerable Thich Yak Toang said, the purposes of the monument restoration was to commemorate the virtue of the three jewels and the patriarch monk Mendang Guang, who founded the Vietnamese mannequin sect. This is the four relic of the mannequin sect with an area of more than 3,000 square meters, beside three other relics, namely Mendang Guang Patriarch Temple, Vân Long Province, the birthplace of Patriarch Monk, Mok Chung Vihara, the Nyang province, where the Patriarch Monk preached the law of life, Ngoc Vinh Vihara, Vinh Long province, where the Patriarch Monk passed away. The Patriarch Monk Mindang Quang Relic Management Board consists of two advisors and five members, led by Most Venerable Thich Minh Bu, debuted and delivered a speech at the ceremony, the most venerable vowed to be determined to maintain the sacred track of life of the patriarch to guide Buddhists in their activities in accordance with the provisions of the sect, the Sangha's charter, and the state's laws in contribution to build the better homeland of King Yang province. In his bestowing words, most venerable Titing Nhung, chairman of the administrative council, Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, affirmed the role of the American order sect in the process of formation and development of the Sangha. Value of the relic site in terms of spirituality, culture, history, and tourism. The most venerable praise the merits of the mendicant denomination's order in preserving and recreating the relics of the patriarch. The most venerable hope that monks, nuns, and Buddhists would continue to promote the vows left by the patriarch monk to build the common house of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha. After that, the Venerable Honorifics performed the offering incense ritual and cutting the ribbon to inaugurate at the main shrine of the relic of Patriarch Monk Minh Đăng Quang. Implementing the program of Buddhist activities in 2022 and looking forward to the National Buddhist Congress at the end of November, October 15th, 2022, at the Vietnam Buddhist University in Hanoi, the Buddhist Education Section organized a conference to review the monastic affairs for the eighth tenure, 2017-2022. to In the opening speech, Most Venerable Thich Thanh Quyết, head of the Buddhist Education Section said, The Buddhist Education Section in the past tenure has made great efforts in professional activities training monks for the central and local sanghas in their duties. In the review report, Venerable Thut Phuc Dat, Vice Chairman and Chief Secretary of the Buddhist Education Section said, There are currently four Buddhist universities in the country offering bachelor, master, and doctorate degrees in Buddhism studies. During the A tenure, about 1,000 monks and nuns graduated with a bachelor's degree in Buddhism studies, and about 2,000 monks and nuns are being under the training. The Vietnam Buddhism University in Ho Chi Minh City also opened a joint training program with colleges in Bà Rịa Vũng Tàu, Tiền Giang, and Cần Thơ. During the last tenure, the section published 19 book titles for distribution in 34 intermediate schools nationwide. The section also entered training cooperation agreements with Buddhist universities around the world, contributing to improving the practice of Vietnamese Buddhist education and creating relationships with countries around the world. In particular, the section has supported Buddhist schools to overcome the consequences of storms and floods in 2020, 
with over 1 billion Viet Nam Dong and contributed about 1 billion Viet Nam Dong to the central area provinces. The affiliated academies also contributed more than 5 billion Viet Nam Dong to social security work. The section also set out the direction for operation in the ninth tenure. The section will develop electronic lesson plans and administers online teaching, set up a study promotion fund to award scholarship to novice monks and nuns. Mr. Dao Huy Cường, Deputy Director of the Buddhist Department of the Government Committee for Religious Affairs, acknowledged the contributions of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha. And then most venerable, Đức Hiện commended the section for its achievement in tenure aid. The most venerable hoped that the section would continue to promote and complete the goals in the spirit of wisdom vision that were touched by the Buddha. On the evening of October 16, 2022, the Vietnam Peace Committee, in collaboration with the Ninh Binh Provincial Buddhist Parochial Board, solemnly held an invocation ritual to pray for the world peace and national peace at Tam Thế Shrine, Baden Pagoda, Ninh Binh Province. Presiding over the ceremony were the most venerable Thich Thanh Nhu, standing vice chairman of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, and venerables Vice Chairman of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Parochial Council, Thích Quảng Tùng, Most Venerable Thích Bảo Nghiêm, Most Venerable Thích Đức Thiện, Vice Chairman, General Secretary of the Administrative Council, Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, with the Venerables and members of Ninh Binh Provincial Buddhist Parochial Board. The government leaders include Mr. Uông Chu Lu, former member of the Party Central Committee, former Vice Chairman of the National Assembly, Chairman of the Vietnam Peace Committee. Mr. Vũ Chiến Thắng, Deputy Minister of Home Affairs, Head of the Government's Committee on Religious Affairs, together with leaders representing functional agencies, central and local departments. The ceremony took place in a dignified atmosphere with rituals of chanting, lighting lanterns, praying for national peace, world peace, and a peaceful life of sentient beings. Volunteer activities to support the community are always the concerns of Buddhist Sangha, and they promptly support other people in difficult circumstances and distressed people in the areas affected by natural disasters to overcome difficulties. The following are the Buddhist charity activities in some provinces during the week. On the afternoon of October 16, 2022, at Ngọc Thiên Pagoda, Hậu Giang Province, the monks coordinated with the government and sponsors to give 100 gifts worth nearly 25 million Viet Nam Dong to disadvantaged people in the locality. This charity is initiated by Venerable Thích Phu Thuận, head of the Buddhist Social Affairs Committee of Châu Thành District with resources mobilized from sponsors. On behalf of the sponsors, Mr. Bui Hoàng Sơn, Director of Comestic Son Group, hopes that the local people have good health to rise up in life. On the morning of October 12, 2020, the Compassionate Enlightenment Volunteer Group led by the Buddhist Layate Huệ Ngọc Nhẹ, in collaboration with the Kang Long Volunteer Group, Javan Province, gave more than 300 gifts to families affected by the recent storm number no. 4 in Quảng Trị and Quảng Nam province. The value of each gift is 250,000 Vietnam Dong. On October 13th, the delegation gave more than 100 gifts to distressed people in Bình Tú and Bình Phục commutes. Thang Bình District, Quảng Nam province. The delegation also visited and supported with more than 150 million Vietnam Dong for people to repair their houses that were severely damaged by the storm. On the morning of October 13th, with the help of the party committee, People Committee of Vạn Thái Commune, Linh Thông Pagoda in Phổ Yên City, Thái Nguyên Province, 
together with benefactors and Buddhists, held a groundbreaking ceremony to build an alms house for the family of Miss Huang Thị Hoa, a poor household with extremely difficult circumstances in Vạn Thái Commune, Phổ Yên Tao, with a total value of 100 million Vietnam Dong. From October 13 to 16, 2022, Master Nun Thích Nữ Tắc Mẫn, Pháp Hưng Pagoda, Long An Province, Nun Thích Nữ An Hiếu, Pháp Thủy Vihara in Ho Chi Minh City, and Buddhists offered more than 300 gifts comprising of learning tools and cash worth 300,000 Vietnam Dong to support mountainous ethnic students in Lien Sơn Commune, Quảng Ngãi Province. After that, the delegation continued to give more than 200 gifts and cash worth 200,000 Vietnam Dong to support needy households. The total budget for this charity trip is nearly 400 million Vietnam Dong. On October 17 and 18, 2022, Senior Nan Thit Nữ Kim Sơn, head of the Buddhist Social Center of Dong Nai Province, Venerable Thích Trương Nghĩa, subordinate abbot of Quang Âm Monastery in Binh Hòa City, led a relief team to help pe- people in the central region affected by natural disaster and floods to support the people in Nghệ An and Hà Tĩnh provinces. The delegation gave 1,200 gifts worth of 700 million Vietnam dong into districts of Thanh Chương and Kỳ Sơn. Nghệ An province, the delegation also donated 50 million Vietnam Dong to each district among 20 families with severe house damage. Each household is supported 5 million Vietnam Dong to repair the house. Continuing the series of charity activities to build bridges and roads and houses, giving gifts to disadvantaged and disabled people across the country, Toward the National Buddhist Congress in November, the Tu Nguyên Pagoda Charity Group in Ho Chi Minh City started the construction of Tu Nguyên No. 460 Bridge on October 20, 2022 at Ngọc Trúc Commune, Dông Riêng District, Kiên Giang Province. The construction cost is donated by Mr. Nguyễn Dang's family and the local people contributed in kind of construction mandates. Before that, the Nguyên Pagoda Charity Group in Ho Chi Minh City gave many gifts to disadvantaged people and students. The team also inaugurated and started the construction of rural traffic bridges in the western provinces from 15 to 16 October. 2022. The leader of the volunteer delegation was Venerable Thích Minh Phu, chairman of Tư Nguyên Pagoda Charity Society, and together with the delegation presented more than 1,000 gifts to support disabled and visually impaired people, the Khmer people, and primary school students in the provinces of Sóc Trăng and Trà Vinh. Each gift of necessities and cash is worth from 200,000 Vietnam Dong to 700,000 Vietnam Dong. On this occasion, the delegation also inaugurated the Nguyên Bridge with a budget of more than 1 billion Vietnam Dong in An Ninh Commune, Châu Thành District, Sóc Trăng Province. On the afternoon of October 16, 2022, the delegation continued to start construction of the Nguyên Bridge Number 457 in Tân An Commune, Càng Long District, Trà Vinh Province, and broke ground for construction of two M houses in An Thạnh Commune, Mỏ Cày Nam District, Bến Tre Province. The construction cost is more than 2 billion Vietnam Dong, raised by Venerable Thích Pháp Hòa, Tây Thiên Trúc Lâm Monastery in Canada, with funding sources from overseas Buddhists. Venerable monks and nuns, Buddhist ladies and gentlemen, the last news has set off this weekly newsreel. Thank you for your attention and following. Goodbye and see you in the next program on PSO TV channel. Namo Sakya Muni Buddha.